Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to share with you what I got for Christmas. I'm not going to share every single item, but I am going to share the gifts that were of significance and the gifts that I think would make great gifts any time of the year for any celebration, whether it's a birthday, Mother's Day, anniversary, what I share with you today can make a great gift. I'm also going to share with you whether the gift was something that I requested if one of my loved ones asked me what I would like for Christmas or if it was a gift that was unexpected and was a surprise. As always, the links to everything that I show you today will be in the description box below this video. You can also get the links on the corresponding blog post, which is always the top link in the description box below. The first item that I want to share with you is this Barefoot Dreams cardigan. I talk about the Barefoot Dreams cardigan all the time in my videos. I recently shared it in my favorite gifts that I've ever received. I'll have that video linked below. It, it has so many great ideas in it, but I love my Barefoot Dreams cardigan. I wear it almost every day and I've always kind of wanted another one. And to be honest, although they're pricey, I kind of have had a desire to have another one only because they're so great. Well, McKenna and Bobby gifted me this one for Christmas. It is also available in a couple other colors. I know black is one of them, but I already have a Barefoot Dreams in black. It's a different one than this one, but they always feel the same. It's like wearing a robe. This is a perfect gift. McKenna actually got one from Bobby for Christmas, and Bobby and McKenna and my daughter Haley gifted my mom one as well. So this was a surprise gift. I've been wearing it nonstop since receiving it. The next gift that I want to share with you is this beautiful oversized hobo bag in black by Kuyana. I believe I pronounced it right. I don't know, it'll be linked. This is divine. <laughs> I have to emphasize divine. Now let me share a little bit about this bag and the story behind it because it was a surprise. You better believe it. I would not ask for a bag as a gift that cost what this bag cost. I have an amazing work tote. Also shared it in my gifts that are been my, I believe I shared it in my favorite gifts. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'll have that video linked, check it out. But I also did a video on my work tote. It's a very large tote, it's black. I love it, love it, love it. It's perfect for travel if you're so lucky because it has a zip, it has a zipper that opens up where you can slide it over your, your luggage handle. But that bag is extremely large. I don't always need to carry that bag on a day-to-day -day basis. Then I have a smaller bag that I absolutely love, got from Zara, also talked about that bag, in my favorite gifts or items that make such great gifts. That bag is great, but I want it in black, and it was never available in black, or when I purchased the bag from Zara, they were out of the black. Never could find it again. So I did request for Christmas a work bag, tote, whatever, I didn't care really the style, the shape, but it had to fit certain things in it. Number one, my MacBook. Had to fit that in there and also had to fit a couple of other things. Well, my oldest daughter and I did some measurements of the bag from Zara that I'm using, which is this bag. This is the Zara bag. So love this bag. Don't have it in black. I need a black bag. Black is just a staple for me. Here's my big black work tote. Well, it's just too big for every day, although love it. So I did ask for a smaller bag that still fit everything that I need. That is where this beauty came in and the girls all went in together. I believe my husband pitched in a little bit as well, but they got me this gorgeous hobo bag which I just love. I, it's so easy to put on my shoulder and it holds everything. So what a great gift. Yes, it would be a splurge to give to someone, but you are getting a beautiful, beautiful, divine quality piece here. 
The next item that I want to share with you, unfortunately, I don't have right now to show you in person. It's the Dean Davidson Castle Ring in black onyx. Actually, the ring that I'm wearing today right here is also a Dean Davidson ring. I love his jewelry. He's a Canadian jeweler, and I actually found out about Dean many years ago by another YouTuber who always wears Dean Davidson jewelry. I think sometimes she actually works a little bit closely with Dean. He may send her jewelry pieces to show on her channel. Maybe that's what I need to do is reach out to Dean Davidson and see if they'd like to work with me. Well, anyway, I really love the castle ring and wanted it in black onyx. A little confusion with the website ended up with me receiving the ring in a white stone and that is not what I wanted so that got returned and the black onyx is on its way I already know it will fit because it's the same size as this and I want it for my middle finger just like this one so it's on its way I'm bummed it didn't get here in time for me to share with you by the time this video publishes I will have the ring but you can see the images the link will be provided below just such a stunner and yes I did ask for the Dean Davidson ring so that was something that not to say that I expected it because I don't know I always tell my loved ones if I give you ideas I'm not going to be disappointed if I don't receive it but that I did have on my wish list for the people that asked me to provide them with some input the next gift that I want to talk about are these Tory Burch earrings I did wear these on Christmas Day you may have gotten a flicker of them in the gender reveal video that we shared I'll have that video linked below my oldest daughter and her husband did a gender reveal Christmas Christmas morning um, did not expect these they were sent to me by a friend and they're beautiful because they are called the circle logo stud but I like how these are mixed metal mixed metal is very popular right now we'll talk more about that later so these stud earrings have a mixture of the gold as well as the silver but you can get them in all silver or all gold and I believe they may also come in a what is the what is the blush colored i can't even think of it <laughs> pink gold or rose, rose gold rose gold they also have them i think in rose gold so check the link and you'll be able to find out what they have there but beautiful the next gift i want to start out showing you the beautiful box this is by royce new york this was sent to me by a subscriber a follower as well as a client she does not work with me currently on a regular basis but periodically we work together and she sends me cards all throughout the year for every single holiday everything everything i'm talking um saint patrick's day valentine's day easter halloween thanksgiving it's just it's be it's been beautiful it's just it's what a beautiful thoughtful person uh this person is this is gorgeous <laughs> it has my initials on it it's a beautiful leather i am not sure if it is 100 percent leather but it smells like it it's not often that something has such a strong leather scent but the blood red shade of this jewelry case, everything about this is me and I just love it so much. Check out the inside, amazing. And I love that it's deep, which is something very important to me. I do have other jewelry cases that I use for other things when I travel, but they're not deep enough. I would, a lot of them, I would not be able to put a cuff bracelet like this in there. And I have some pretty hefty statement rings i believe when you gift someone a jewelry case it is something to think about if they're not always wearing dainty they are going to need a jewelry case that will hold those larger pieces i don't know if this is still available i i was able to search for it i'm not sure where she got it i have an idea but i did put a link below i will have a couple options if i can't find this exact one so yes this would definitely have been a surprise gift the next gift that i want to share with you are picture frames or photo frames however you want to reference them they're from west elm and they are done in a mixed metal 
These frames are beautiful. They are stunning. Now, they somewhat were a gift that I requested, but not exactly. I knew that I wanted some frames to go on top of my dresser in my bedroom, and I knew what sizes I wanted, meaning I knew what the variety or the look I was going after, but I really didn't care what frames I got. So that's all I put down. I need these frames in these sizes. I also put in my request to my daughters when they asked that I'd much rather get all of them than have someone get me one frame, someone else get me one frame, and then I end up with only two frames when I really needed six frames. It was either you do the whole shebang or don't do it at all, which I was perfectly fine with. So when I started opening frames <laughs> and they were different metals, it was really interesting. But because mixed metals is such a big trend right now in not only jewelry, but as well as home decor, I love these frames and I love how they look on my dresser. The next gift that I share with you, I will say, is probably the only gift that I fully expected to receive because I receive this every year. I also ask for it every year and I also make it very clear that this is probably the gift I look forward to the most. So to be completely honest, if I didn't receive my Shutterfly easel calendar, I probably <laughs> would be a little disappointed because I look forward to it so much. My oldest daughter, Kirsten, is the one who gifts this to me. She is the one that puts the work into finding the images. She also gifts one of these for the grandmas. So my mom receives one every single year. Hers may look different than mine with different photos, obviously. And she also gifts one to my mother-in-law. And she tries to gather photos of everyone in the family, not just our family. And then I believe she gifts one to Tim's mom. That would be her mother-in-law as well. Check out, there's Norman, of course. And I believe we have we have Bo, <laughs> which is my, my, my little grand kitty or cat. So she covered everyone in the family. This gift is beautiful. Now, if you know of a loved one who still is celebrating something in January, let's say a birthday, you could still order this, um, even February. It's just such a beautiful gift. I shared on Instagram stories how at the end of the year, like the beginning of December, I take all of the cards and I tape them on my refrigerator so we can enjoy seeing all of them. And I do keep these year after year. I do view it as a keepsake, so I, I keep them all the time. I do view them as a keepsake. I also use the little block that the cards are held in to put other photos in. If I just have a random picture and I don't wanna put it in a frame, you can put a recipe in there. So there are so many uses for the block that is included. There are so many to pick from. This is also a gift that I shared in my favorite gifts of all time. Been talking about it for years. The next gift has so much meaning. Did not expect it. This was from Kirsten. It's a little ornament that she had personalized on Etsy. It says, Mom established 1993, which is the year that she was born. And then it says, Gigi established 2021. So I don't see this as a Christmas tree ornament, although it could be. This, this will stay out year round. It will be somewhere within my personal space because it has so much meaning to me. So what a great gift if you know some if you're expecting or you know someone who's expecting you could pass this little gift suggestion off to them but this will forever be a beautiful keepsake for me next up we're talking coffee table books i always ask for coffee table books every single year my loved ones know how much i love coffee table books for so many different reasons. I just think they're beautiful to decorate with. So typically what I do is I will create a list of different coffee table books that interest me. They don't have to be a new release. In fact, I don't know that these are, but the first one is this one here. It says, fine wines, the best vintages, 
since 1900. It's beautifully illustrated, but I also love when you can take the sleeve off, which is not uncommon for me to do with books that have a sleeve, and then it looks like this. So however I want to use it, whether it's laying down or if it's on a bookshelf, bookcase like this, love it. This was one that I did ask for. I also love it like this as well, with the sleeve on, especially if it were laying down. This is a beauty. <laughs> This is a beauty. And oh, and let me just back up. So the fine wines, I didn't know I was receiving that. It's not uncommon for me to receive a coffee table book, but I never know which one I will or which ones I will receive. This is so beautiful. The colors on here are me. I just, this is so beautifully illustrated. Hilton Carter Wild Interiors. It's full of plants. It's so beautiful. It's just comforting to even look at the photos in this book. So much inspiration here. I don't have a green thumb, but I do have a plant that I'm caring for <laughs> that was gifted to me. And, and so far we're doing well, but this is just such a beautiful book, everything about it. I think this would be such a lovely gift for anyone. <laughs> this next gift was definitely <laughs> a surprise, but it does make sense. So I received a dog seat cover. Does that not look like Norman? <laughs> I mean, what a perfect dog to be on the packaging. Received this from Norman, but I believe my husband was behind it because I always have Norman in my car and he's a shedder. He's a golden retriever, so he sheds and there's hair everywhere. Well, over the holidays, actually on the day before New Year's Eve, I got a new car. I say new because it is a new car. It's, it's a 2021 and I think the car I turned in was a 2019, maybe 2018, 2019. I basically just went with the same car, same color. I just wanted the same thing. It's just, I did a little lease pull ahead, but I think he knew that I was going to be doing that. And to protect the new car, I have a dog seat cover to protect from Norman's hair. Well, I take that, <laughs> that back. The gift was from my husband <laughs> because there's the tag, but I had to share the gift bag that the gift came in because here's three pictures of Norman. And then I also received a $25 gift card to Chewy, which my girls all use Chewy to uh, purchase items for their dog or their cats. I will have a link to Chewy down below, but it says, Merry Christmas, Gigi, please spoil me. So now I have $25 to spend at Chewy on Norman, but I thought it was really, really precious and adorable how my husband uh, did this little bag with the photos on there. The next gift was such a sweet surprise because I didn't even know that they made these. It's the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Deodorant, but in travel size. How clever is that? If you've been following me for the long haul, you know this is the only deodorant that I will use. I have a blog post talking about this deodorant as well as a video. I've tried everything. I've tried natural. That for sure isn't going to stay in the arsenal. This is the best deodorant. I've turned so many of you onto this deodorant as well but who would have known that there was a travel size? So I love this gift. This is a great gift. This again goes back to when I talked about being a good gift giver. She clearly knew, she clearly knew. So it was that element of surprise. It was unexpected and what a great gift. This was all I received. That's awesome. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Look at how excited I am. <laughs> Okay, where do I begin with L'Occitan? These were gifted to me, maybe a couple of them together, but many of them separate. And this is not even all that I received. I also have a supple skin oil in my bathroom that I just decided not to pull everything. I will link everything. Clearly, my loved ones, my friends, my followers, my subscribers, my clients, they all know me, they've been following. I don't deviate from L'Occitan. I have videos talking about how I use these products. I've done blog posts way back in the day on my love for L'Occitan, how I use them. 
You're always seeing them in my monthly empties, but yes, I'm all stocked up and I love it. And then the last gift that I want to share with you, which again was an element of surprise and it was from my husband. I tried a new wine this year from a somewhat local wine shop where I try to buy all my wine so that I can support local and it's a small business. And I was turned on to this, it's out of Germany. <laughs> I will have their website so that you can do all your research on the wine. But they have a couple different variations of their Riesling and there's one in particular that I cannot even pronounce but I will link the name of it that I love. Well, I've talked about it so much that my husband went to the wine. Well, let me back up. I, I bought them out. <laughs> I bought them out. I went to the wine shop and I bought them out of the wine that I love. <laughs> so anything they had on hand, I bought. And of course, we have all been enjoying it because everyone who has tried it, they're like, this is the best. <laughs> it is the best wine, it's the best Riesling. Well, anyway, my husband goes into the wine shop wanting to purchase it and they're out of stock <laughs> because his wife bought it all. <laughs> you have to love it. You just have to love it. <laughs> well, anyway, the sommelier that they have at this wine shop because they do have one or their wine person ordering or whatever, <laughs> talked to my husband and said, I'll order some in. It's not, it, it's, a, it's a pricier wine. I want to say around maybe $30 a bottle. So my husband had him order three of them. Now, re, the Riesling here is one of the variations, but the one that, I, and I love this, so good. It's, it's already emptied. I didn't save the bottles of the other one. I wish I would have, but again, I'll have it in the drop down of the variation that I love so much, but I thought that was so great. So they gifted, they did a whole complete gift box with the three bottles of wine. It was done beautifully and what a thoughtful gift of how he clued in, he was listening intuitively and then he went out of his way to, to go after those bottles of wine. So he had to share that because I just thought it was so special. And then the last thing that I want to share that was such a great gift and I always believe makes a lovely gift are the gift cards. I received two $100 gift cards to two different restaurants that I love. One is an Italian restaurant and one is a Mexican restaurant, Tex-Mex, my favorite place. So I thought that was great as well because the loved ones that gave me those gifts of the gift card for the restaurants I love, they know me and it just shows that they are paying attention. So. Well, there you have it, the gifts that I received for Christmas and items that would make a great gift any time of the year. Don't forget all of the links to everything that I shared with you today will be in the drop down box below as well as on that blog post. Be sure to check out this past Monday's video where I shared my December empties with you. That video comes every single month. I'll have it linked below. I'll also have a card up here that you can click on and watch it when you're done watching today's video. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I recently shared a video about me, my family, what I do as a business. You'll wanna check that video out. I'll also have it linked below. Before I leave you today, I want to encourage you to check out a video that was published on my channel two days ago, this past Wednesday, by the Hensel Coaching and Consulting Coaches, Ashley Elich and Lena Marie Gilbert. They were here live talking to you single ladies about their upcoming program, The Single Girls Kit. In the Single Girls Kit, Ashley and Lena Marie are going to tackle dating drama. After you spend six weeks with these dynamic coaches, you will walk away with more confidence in who you are and your dating life. There will be more details to the Single Girls Kit in the description box below. There will also be a link to register for the upcoming program. But Check out this past Wednesday's YouTube Live if you want to get more information. Ashley and Lena Marie are going to be coming to you every single Wednesday throughout the next few weeks to talk about the single life and to help you have more confidence 
in your life as you navigate this journey. So check everything out. Links will all be down below. I'll put the YouTube live right up here. You can click on that. And I'll see you next week on YouTube. We're gonna be talking skincare per your request. What's the updated routine in regime since working closely with my dermatologist on what is best for me? Skincare products, treatments, procedures, it'll all be here next week. Make sure you're subscribed. Click that bell. You'll get immediate notification when that video comes live. All right, we'll see you next week. Take care.